Thank you, Dr. Toom. Uh, pleasure to be with everybody today. Uh, I am pleased to join the University of Calgary's School of Public Policy as they officially announced the Productivity Summit to be held this fall. When I talk to Albertans about what matters most to them, they tell me they're concerned about their ability to provide for their family, including affording food, shelter, and other necessities. They want good paying job opportunities and an economy that supports all of those needs. In fact, according to a recent Angus Reid poll, 40% of Albertans are facing economic struggles and 41% say it is difficult to feed their household today. At the centre of all of this is productivity. Productivity is about how efficiently and effectively a country's economy is producing goods and services. And it's the key determinant of wages, costs and other components of increasing standards of living. Which is why I'm very proud the Government of Alberta is providing support to this event. I'm increasingly concerned that the ability to meet these priorities is being eroded by Canada's lagging productivity and a lack of actions directed towards sustained long-term prosperity. Canadian productivity has fallen behind competitor nations in recent decades and the trend is now worsening. Several prominent economists and policymakers have been sounding the alarm, including Carolyn Rogers, the Bank of Canada's own senior deputy governor who first sounded the alarm, or broke the glass as she puts it, and it has now been taken up by everyone from the Governor of the Bank of Canada to journalists, academics, and businesses across Canada. While Alberta has the highest productivity in Canada, we're searching for solutions to drive productivity higher so that Albertans can have the wages they need to meet costs and we can limit inflation. In addition, Alberta has been raising this issue with our federal and provincial counterparts for a number of years. And in many ways, uh, we are leading the way by keeping our taxes low, reducing red tape, investing in infrastructure, and supporting skills development. Uh, but Alberta can't address this issue alone. Improving productivity requires a concerted effort by the federal government, all provinces and territories, municipalities, industry, and everyone in between. So let me be clear, productivity isn't about getting people to work harder or longer, as Dr. Toombs said. It's not about preferential treatment for businesses. Productivity is about finding more efficient and effective ways to produce goods and services. And about producing products and services that are worth more in the marketplace. At its heart, productivity is about maximizing our potential and improving the standard of living for all Canadians. As I said, higher productivity means higher wages. It means lower costs and it means more investment to grow the economy. This is where the University of Calgary's Productivity Summit comes in. This summit will bring together a diverse group of experts and stakeholders. They will discuss this challenge, share research, and understand global best practices. And in the process, start to shape a roadmap for future action. At the same time, we want to encourage Albertans and all Canadians to learn more about this issue by taking part in the summit online. I want to commend the University of Calgary School of Public Policy for hosting this important summit. It's a chance to delve deep into the challenges and complexities surrounding productivity and begin to identify ways we can improve for the benefit of everyone. We have to thoroughly understand the issue before we can move forward on effective and enduring solutions. Because I believe that this summit is of utmost importance to our economic future as a nation, I will be inviting my fellow finance ministers from across Canada including Minister Freeland, to attend the summit. This isn't political. This is about what we as Canadian policymakers want the future of our economy to be. It's about addressing problems and creating opportunity and prosperity for Canadians from coast to coast to coast. I encourage my counterparts from across the country to commit to having their experts and political leaders attend this important first step in our shared commitment to address this challenge. So again, thank you to the University of Calgary for bringing everyone together. I'm looking forward to this summit this fall and seeing what innovative discussions uh, come out of it. So thank you very much.